Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. What a wild and weird week we had in the stock market, but especially on Thursday and Friday. On Thursday, the market went down. Why did it go down? The economy is too good. <laughs> when you're in a market that decides it has to go down because the economy is too good, that's probably a false signal, and that's surely what it was. And then on Friday, they turned, it turned out that the stock market decided, you know, maybe a hot economy is actually good. And I think that's what it decided based on some statistics. They find an excuse for everything. But you follow the economic calendar to see the menu of what excuses the day traders are going to see to decide to make their trades. And it works temporarily. But when you have a VIX this low that's hanging around 12, you're in a bull market. You're in a wildly bull market. Their fear is that it's such a good market that the Federal Reserve now has a 1% chance of raising interest rates, which isn't very significant. I think it's very unlikely that they will raise uh, interest rates. In fact, I think it's likely that they'll cut interest rates, it'll be, they'll cut by a quarter of a point. How much of a, is a quarter of a point going to make a difference? All it does is signal their intention to want to try to reduce uh, interest rates. And I think what's going to happen, I think we'll get one rate cut this year, and that's just the signal that they intend to eventually lower rates. And I think they'll do it in September, just in time to help the election and to help Jerome Powell uh, keep his job. They're not supposed to do it for political reasons, but it's not going to hurt and it might help a little bit and it will surely keep his job. I think that's probably what's on the menu. Let's go into NVIDIA, which of course was the story of the week with its blowout earnings. On Thursday, after NVIDIA reported its blowout earnings, the NASDAQ went up hugely in the early part of the day. But then this good news on the economy kept accumulating and Wall Street decided that they were very fearful and the market took a dump. <music> and really dumped on Thursday. And I'm so glad I just hung on to the NVIDIA because it just kept going up. So once again, artificial intelligence exemplified by NVIDIA carried the market, especially on Friday. I bought in at 300 shares for an average cost of 963 and it ended up 1,064. The gains on NVIDIA on Thursday when the market took a dump made up for almost all the losses I took on the other stock, which is very impressive. And then it, it carried me forward and carried the market forward on Friday when the market finally decided, well, maybe having good news is really a good idea. For the week, the markets were somewhat varied as the Dow went up only 1.6%. And I think that's possibly because the price of oil has been coming down somewhat. And also Boeing has been a dumpster fire lately. If we look at the chart, the Dow has gone up only 1.6%. The S&P 500 has gone up almost 5%. And the NASDAQ has gone up almost 8% based on NVIDIA and artificial intelligence stocks, which I I own a lot of. The three other giants I own besides NVIDIA are Microsoft, Google, and Amazon. Microsoft I'm especially impressed with. It's made 10% in the last month. Google did okay. It recovered and it made up for Thursday's loss on Friday. So I was happy about that. And Google has made about 5% in the last month. The stock that's struggling is Amazon. It's gone up only around 2% for the whole month and it just didn't do 
do that well this last week. It's partly because of their outlook, I think, for what they plan to do with NVIDIA chips. They said they're going to wait on buying NVIDIA's current chip. I think that's the U100, and they're going to wait for the Blackwell to come out, which is going to come out later this year. I got to wonder if that announcement isn't punishing Amazon for delaying on artificial intelligence when that is the main thing driving profit right now. As far as my artificial intelligence stocks, Vertiv Holdings, symbol VRT, has been very profitable. It's up 25% in the last month. They do cooling systems and electrical equipment for data centers. Insight, symbol NSIT, which does retail computers and is doing more things in the cloud with an agreement with Microsoft and Applied Materials, a symbol AMAT, which makes the machines that make the chip. Those last three have made about 12% in the last month, and I'm holding on to them. I think we got a market turnaround here. I think we're in a bullish market. I think with the VIX around 12, it's a screaming at you that this is a bull market. I presented three stocks last time, uh, which have been doing wildly good. These are new stocks, especially to the younger crowd. I see them as longer term investments. At least that's my plan for the moment. I, I might change if I get drastically different information, but they're doing wildly good for the last month that I've been looking at them. Celsius Holdings, C-E-L-H, is a healthy energy drink, which is much needed. Reddit symbol RDDT is benefiting from the meme craze, and they're the home of Wall Street bets, where you can get many alternative investment ideas. Plus, they have other stuff that's just kind of interesting in my off moments that I actually look at. The third of these is Robinhood, which they have very flexible trading policies. Plus, they've been benefiting a lot in the recent rise in crypto. Their symbol is Hood. H-O-O-D. Looking at the chart, you can see that Celsius Holdings has been doing very well and has done 32%. Reddit has come in at 26% and Hood has come in at 18%. These are spectacular returns for new stock in a one month time period. That's most of my investment portfolio for right now. However, I do have four additional investments which are alternative investments that I will be going into do in the next video so you want to be sure to catch that uh, that's the way i roll thanks for tuning in i want to be the best in the game invest in my name check no restraints i'm obsessed with the pain i ingest i retain assess and i change possessed by the thought i'll be free one day from society's restraints money clout and fame mud disease a plague we all love to hate have to play the game have to make a name all our insecurities are on this display. is war with the enemy think that it was meant to be 